book on the episode, 1955, Leonard Stern, real estate billionaire from New York, New Jersey. This picture of Leonard Stern and his second wife is an outline of episode 1955. Okay, but it's worth like $500 million now. You revolutionized Secaucus. I mean, you, you took swamplands and turned it into millions of dollars. Well, Actually, it wasn't my vision. Uh, I met a young man called Gene Heller who had the vision, and he sold it to me. He had a large vision and very little money. I did not have a vision of real estate, and I had $100,000, which is what the vision took to start. We bought Meadowlands, New Jersey, when nobody wanted them because we didn't realize they would be difficult to build on because we- It was born in 1938 in New York City to wealthy Jewish parents. With the goods that your father came to this country with 2,100 canaries. 5,000 canaries, uh, 5,100 to be exact, in 1926 and uh, started as an animal importer. Started packaging the food under the name Hearts Mound to sell along with the birds. And frankly, um, my late father gave me a very good start. Earn a Bachelor of Science and later an MBA from New York University. A most generous man. He will be most remembered for NYU's Leonard N. Stern Business School, which was renamed in 1988 after donating $30 million. Overall, he has donated more than $80 million to NYU since then. Next famous philanthropy is the Homes for the Homeless in 1986. As the homeless situation exploded, and there were only so many hotels that would take them in, oh, okay. the city didn't have many choices at the time. Right. I don't believe that they could have foreseen when you take a third class hotel and start filling it up with welfare families or homeless families. In 2000, he sold his pet business $350 million. Today, his real estate empire consists of more than 260 real estate properties, mostly warehouses in the New Jersey area. August 2023, he has a net worth of $7.6 billion, 85 years old. The secret of his success. When you were building your business, uh, that you paid to keep your name out of the press. That is absolutely correct. That is, why did you do that? We were building the business, we were working very hard, and no publicity we felt was the best publicity. Uh, also, I didn't want to share a good thing. Uh, when you're very small and uh, you you latch on to a very good business, uh, if you brag about it before it grows to a big business, you find lots of hungry sharks there ready to take it away. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Leonard Stern, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.